Shalom Chavrim. I'm Stephen ben Danun, and you're watching Israeli News Live. We have some very interesting news today, nothing that we didn't already expect. It's being reported in the Haaretz that the Palestinian Authority did go before the United Nations today and requested uh, to be given the permission to, uh, to, to, to officially bid with the 15 international conventions. Uh, the article uh, states here, the Palestinian Authority officially asked Wednesday that the state of Palestine become a signatory to 15 international conventions. The request was made by Palestinian Foreign Minister Riyad Maliki, who met with Robert Seri and uh, the United Nations Special Con uh, Coordinator for the Middle East Peace Process and Swiss and Dutch envoy to the Palestinian Authority. Maliki told the diplomats that the Palestinian request came in response to Israel's failure to free the fourth batch of prisoners it said would, be, would free if peace, talk, peace talks progressed. The Palestinian Authority said it now considers itself released from its commitment not to seek recognition from international uh, institutions. And it goes on to say further things about this. And it just makes you wonder, uh, Israel should just ban the talks altogether. I think it'd be better that we did, especially in light of this next article here. This is something that we didn't catch as kind of behind the scenes a little bit when it came out, uh, but it actually was published last month on the 27th in Israel's national news. Palestinian religious leaders, Jews must not pray at the Kotel. Now this is something that's being stated from the Palestinian Authority here. PA claims the western wall of the Temple Mount is part of the al Aska Mosque too and therefore off limits to Jews. And why in the world are we negotiating with these people at all? I mean it makes no sense. The Palestinian Authority Minister of Religious Affairs Mahmoud al-Habas and the former Chief Justice of the PA's religious court both recently declared that the PA's Islamic belief and political position is that Jews are prohibited, prohibited from praying at the western wall of the Temple Mount. Palestinian Media Watch has documented that the PA denies Israel's history and rights in Jerusalem, but these statements by uh, by top religious leaders go even further. The PA claims that the area of the Muslim holy site, the Alask Mosque, includes not only the mosque itself, but extends over the entire Temple Mount and includes Judaism's holiest site, the Western Wall, or what we call the Kotel. Jerusalem is religious trust and history trust in the hands of all Muslims, in the hands of Ummah, Islamic Nation, the al barakh Wall, i.e. the Western Wall of the Temple Mount, is an authentic part of the al Asq Mosque only. This was an official PA TV uh, interview that was on December 6, 2013. Uh, it, it is deplorable to say the least. Not to mention, they shouldn't be on the Temple Mount in the first place. Uh, uh, one other thing I wanted to speak to you guys about. We have been receiving your prayer requests. And I know this is not a news part here, but I think it's important for me to mention this to you while I have a moment to say so. Uh, we have gotten hundreds of your requests, hundreds of them. Uh, I have been handwriting them out so that I can take them to the Wailing Wall and pray over them, each one individually. Um, I'm wanting you, though, to be praying with me as well. Uh, once I know the actual time that we will be going, I will announce that. But I'm asking you to pray with me. The thousands of you guys that, have, that, that listen, pray with me for these people. It's very important, especially because the Lord placed it in my heart that the death angel would pass over these people. Now that's salvation. That is those people that, that are dying with cancers and things like that. These are serious issues. And I feel strongly that the Lord wants this to be done. Um, and I, I just I ask you to join us in prayer for these people uh, on Passover. Uh, I'll probably be going in the evening Israeli time. I'm about seven hours uh, ahead of Eastern time in the United States. So I will be there probably uh, around 6 p.m. 
uh, which is before sunset, about an hour before sunset, and I will pray until uh, that time till we finish every one of them. My wife as well will be going with me. Uh, so we just ask that you be praying as well that the death angel pass over any and every person you can think of um, and we'll be taking these requests. I'm trying to get a printer. Um, you guys have been so kind to us. We can certainly be able to go get that. Uh, that way it might make the process a little faster. Uh, but anyway, we love you guys. God bless you. We thank you for all that you do. Uh, you're the ones that make this trip possible. And uh, we trust that it is a blessing for you as well. I'm Stephen Ben Danun with Israeli Newsline. Baruch Hashem.